In this CSS video, we're going to talk about images and text right next to each other. I guess that's the best way to put it. Now, there are many times you want to wrap text around images. And so that's what we're going to discuss again in this video. Now, as we talked about in previous videos, divs are a section of your web page and they kind of have a life of their own. You can stick whatever you want in there. You can stick images, text, video, anything you want to put in there. They have a life of their own. So we've got our div and what we're going to do is place an image, this image of Julius Caesar. Now, if you want this image, you, you can actually get this out on Wikipedia for the article on Julius Caesar and you will find that image. It is in the public domain. By the way, if an image is in the public domain, that means you can use it for any use and you do not have to provide any credit. But again, Wikipedia is nice enough to tag these images public domain and that means, again, you can use it for any purpose you want. So I created one div and you can see that it closes down here and then I've got one paragraph where I put an image in the paragraph and some text and we want a bunch of text to see how this works. And so what we want is this image to be aligned with the text. Now right now it's not because we're not styling this image. We haven't added any CSS rules yet. So let's just see what the default looks like and we'll load the web page here. And you can see the image is placed right above the text. But what we want to do is actually align this image with the text. So everything aligns nice and neat. So let's do that. Now, the first thing we need to do is add a class or an ID. You will remember that there are two ways to do it. You use an ID or a class. In this case, we're just going to use a class, not an ID. And we're going to call that class appropriately enough image. That's what we're going to name it. And so let's go ahead and save this. Oh, there was one more point I wanted to make. Let's reload this. You will remember that this is in the flow. Remember we talked about the flow in past CSS videos? Well, this is in the flow. And that is why this comes first and then we get the text. But what we want to do is actually pull this image out of the flow. And you will remember the way we do that is to float an image. And that will actually line everything up nice and neat. And so let's create a rule over in our style sheet. And the first rule we're going to create is float left. So let's save this and let's reload our web page. And there you can see everything lines up nice and neat. But this text is very close to the image. And, and so there's a couple ways you can deal with that. And that is to use the margin property of the image to push this text away. You can push it as far as you want. Some people want to push this all the way across the page. You can do that. Or you can push it just a few pixels. Let's start out and push it just a few pixels. So let's go back to our CSS code. And let's actually push this out 10 pixels instead of 30. And we'll save this. And there you can see, now we have a little bit of space between our image and our text. Now, if you wanted a bunch of space between the text and the image, you could push this out 300, you know, you could count the pixels. It would be, it would be like 300, 400 pixels, and the text would be over here. Now, the next question you want to ask is, do you want text wrapping under this image? If you do, you can keep the code as it is. But let's say you want all of this text lined up going down the page. And the way you can do that is actually push the margin of this image down. So let's push it down 300 pixels and we'll see what we get. So again, we're going to alter the margin bottom property. So let's save this. Let's open this up. And there you can see the image kind of has its own column and the text is aligned very nice and neat in its own separate column. Now, these aren't really columns, but it kind of has the look of that. And again, we're using margins to push all of this text to the right. So that's how you deal with images and text in the same div and in the same paragraph. Oh, and that's one more point I wanted to point out. You want to make sure you put the image tag inside the paragraph tag. If you move this outside of the paragraph tag, it will not be aligned. In fact, let me show you that. Let's do that. So we'll put this outside of the paragraph tag and we'll save this. And you can see now that they're not quite lined up. And that's because the text is all inside the paragraph block and the image is no longer inside the paragraph block. And so they're treated a little bit differently. And so let's go ahead and move that back in there. We will save this, reload it, and now everything is lined up nice and neat. Okay, that is going to do it for this video. See you guys in the next video.